So you're talking to a girl and you're afraid that if you don't do X action, that is try like extra hard, then you're going to communicate disinterest to the girl and she's going to go away forever. This is what we call fearful behavior in dating. And it stems from a place of really just feeling not enough or not really having the experience of getting the acceptance and validation of the types of girls that you really like, or at least not having it in the past. Now, it's one of those things because if you grew up and you never got the acceptance of the type of women that you're into, okay, you're going to be striving to get it to prove to yourself, you know, you're, get, you're going after that external validation, but you're trying to prove to yourself that you're worth it. And now you're in this place of like, fake it till you make it. Because you know that if you keep jumping through the flaming hoops and chasing the girl, you're going to drive her off, okay? But it's hard to fake it, you know, if you haven't made it yet. So what do you do? Well, coming from somebody that's been in the shoes of the person that felt like they weren't enough, okay, growing up. Um, and then later on in life, like going through the dating gauntlet and really, you know, dating all different types of women, okay? I can tell you that, you know, it is okay to hold back when it comes to texting and when it comes to talking to girls that you like. And what I mean by holding back is taking your time with your messages, your responses, um, you know, being playful in your messages, like taking risks with the things that you're saying. Don't worry about saying the wrong thing or turning the girl off because by worrying about saying the wrong thing, you're actually playing it too safe to the point where you're actually being boring. And if you go back through your text messages and you take an honest look at whatever conversations you're having with a girl that you're into, you'll notice that every time that she puts effort in, not only do you put effort in, but you're probably even putting in more effort. So you don't have to worry about signaling disinterest because you've already gone over the top to signal interest by responding to every little thing that she says, doing it quickly, and doing it in more detail than what she even you know communicated to you with to begin with. So you can't disacknowledge the effort that you've already put in with this particular person. A guy that has options is going to be talking to multiple girls, okay? And he's going to be focused on his business, focused on his hobbies. He's going to have a lot of things going on. And he's going to take his time with the women that he's talking to because he's just feeling them out. He doesn't need them, okay? And you might need them right now you know, for your own purposes of feeling whole, okay? But you're not going to get them unless you start to fill in your own blanks here, right? And, and choose them from a place of um, being patient. So do all the healthy stuff, you know, eat right, get exercise, hang out with your friends, you know, have your hobbies, have your business or your career, whatever. And don't date from a place of anxiety. 